Hello everybody, I'm Nick from TBT and this is my video review of the Ronnie G2 stock. Now, the Ronnie stocks are made by CAA uh, in California I believe, designed by the Israeli military services. They're designed to turn pistols into a small carbine, uh, in this case it's a Glock 17, um, to aid stability uh, and accuracy at greater distances. Now, I really like my Glock. I think it's fantastic. I have an awful lot of fun with it. We've had a great time over the last year, but I can't actually hit much with it. Um, past 15 meters, it, which is its design brief, at 25 meters, for example, onto the gongs, with a red dot on there, and if I take my time and concentrate, I can get a four out of five, but it's quite laborious and um, Sometimes you just want to pull the trigger fast. So I've been looking at various carbine options. I did have a little shoulder stock att attachment thing that went on there, but that was great if you had uh, arms like an orangutan because the reach on it was quite long. So I saw these Ronnie products. I've been looking at them for several months now. Um, and the reason I'm making this one is because this isn't the Micro Ronnie. Everything I've seen is about the Micro Ronnie, which is very popular in America because it folds and it stays concealable. I don't care about concealable. I only want to shoot targets with it. I'm only going to use it at the range. So I don't care if it fits in my pocket, under my coat or wherever. Also, in America, they don't have this one, well, not as much anyway, because, um, because it actually does have a stock. You're not allowed to in America. They have ones that have got an arm brace, Velcro bit here that you can use as a stock. But, um, but they're not actually allowed to put a stock onto their pistol. But, in the free world, obviously we can. So I struggled to find the information I wanted, so I thought I'd just do a little video on it to, to tell people what I wanted to know. First of all, you'll find if you do see this on the internet, it's listed for the Glock models of generations three and four. I've got a generation five. I could not find out anywhere whether it was gonna fit. So I um, had a fortifying glass of wine or two and ordered it anyway, knowing that I've got a Dremel. Anyway, it arrived, and the good news is that the Gen 5 slots straight into it, absolutely no problem at all. Um, so if they could amend their information on the website to say it fits the Gen 5 as well, that would help a lot of people. Also, it's a very strong unit. It's, it's made out of ballistic polymer, which I believe is a posh word for plastic, with aluminium walk, uh, accessory rails on the sides and on the top. Now. I don't need to fit any accessories to this. Um, it's got a little handle there, should you wish. I do use that, that's, that's okay. But I don't need a laser on it. I don't need a torch on it because I'm not really gonna come here when it's dark to shoot. But what I have done is I put a riser rail just to get the, the, the sight height right for the sight I'm using. And I've put a Hawk reflex dot on there. Now this is a five MOA red dot. Great for fast ta target acquisition, not great for um, accuracy. <laughs> From having used this, I'm very tempted to put a scope on it just to, to see what it will do at a distance, bearing in mind it's, it's just a pistol with a tiny little short barrel. But, 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 I have been using it here and so have a couple of my friends and it is absolutely fantastic fun. It really does increase the usability of the Glock. It, it turns it into a little miniature semi-automatic carbine that you can use for further distances, faster shooting, things like that. So today I'm at the range, um, just gonna do a few shots at 25 yards and then some at 80, so meters, 25 meters and then some at 80, just to, to show you what it's doing. Bear in mind, I'm shooting this, so I'm not that great a shot in the first place. Um, and we'll see how we go. So, so I'm gonna turn the camera around to face into the target. And just before I do that, so you know I am doing it, Eyes and ears for safety. Turn this one around. What I'll do is just zoom in a little bit towards the gongs at 25 meters. Okay. I've been practicing this this morning. I did get a five once, but the others were, were four. But we'll see what happens this time. Okay, 
okay, that was four. I can live with that. Now, just to be silly, I'm not expecting to hit it, but down the back in the sandbank there is a stone about the size of my fist. I've yet to hit it, but it does show where the shots are going. So again, freestanding with me shooting it, 80 meters with a 5 MOA red dot. Let's see where these go. To. Make sure I'm looking at the right one first. Okie doke. I should have got somebody to help me do this video. Anyway, right, well, there you have it. That's the, uh, that's the G2 from Ronnie, uh, with a few questions answered. Yes, it fits the Gen 5s, um, and it's fantastic fun. If you've got the opportunity, see if you can have a go with one. Thank you.